Here's something that is really easy to do within your bubble editor that I'm not seeing a lot of people doing, but it's really cool. So within your data types, you can create a new data type called theme. Within that theme, you can create fields for whatever color you want to set or determine based on your theme. So in this theme, I have a background color, I have a border color, I have a button color and a font color. And then within these fields, you can save the hex color for the color that you want. Or you can allow the user to set the hex color with a color picker and then save the hex field to the field itself in whatever theme they've created. Now, this is the, what I do for something like my link and bio builder, where I need to allow my users to create different themes for their different links and bio. And now this is where it gets really fun. On the front end, the client side, you can go into these colors and say parent groups theme font color for the color. For the background color, parent group themes, background color, and set all of these themes to be dynamic. So in this case, this button, it's going to be di completely dynamic based on the theme that I'm sending it. Now, it's really easy to do and allows you to customize your application and your builds in so many different ways. And so hopefully you can now leverage this in your applications going forward because it's going to create really cool functionality. So if you enjoyed this video, please follow me for more.